Greetings and salutations. It is Sunday, August 23rd, and oh, I just got up like a couple hours ago. I'm really tired and had a pretty crazy week between, it's my first like full week of work, well full week, I worked five hours a day, but it's my first time I've worked like Monday to Friday uh, in over four years, so that took a lot out of me. Uh, we did our Friday night game night, which was super, super fun. We tried some new games, and we all ordered from my favorite restaurant ever, which was amazing. And then yesterday was nice and relaxing. We uh, had a friend whose birthday it was, and so we celebrated his birthday, and we played a bunch of games, and it was a great time. And then today is relaxing and laundry for me, and the husband is doing dishes, which is very nice of him. But yeah, I am uh, definitely wearing pajamas, and I don't even care. It's I am super sleepy. And also, I talk about this somewhat often. I have a fan fiction addiction in that uh I read a lot of it and I enjoy reading it because I enjoy kind of the what ifs that come from fan fiction and like people taking an idea and just kind of running with it for 20 chapters and I've discovered Stargate Atlantis fan fiction and oh my god. I so the first the first thing I ever knew about fan fiction was back in high school I discovered um, Harry Potter fanfiction and I wrote some for a while and it was I enjoyed it it was great and at that time I really only knew I didn't I didn't know how big it was I only knew it based on this one website and then I discovered uh, fanfiction.net which is the in my opinion the best website for fanfiction um, it's the one that I first kind of knew so that's why I like it so much but I know there are people who are crazy about live journal people who are crazy about AO3 um, and so on and so forth, but I really, really love fanfiction. I, I like their layout and I like how they organize things and I just know it really well, so I, that's my favorite. Um, and then I discovered, when I got into Glee, I discovered Glee fanfiction and I was like, oh my god, this is insane! And then I kind of dabbled in Twilight fanfiction and I, uh, the, I, my thing about fanfiction though is if the characters are not say canon so that they're not the characters that actually end up together in the source material if it's if that then that's what I tend to get interested in it but for I find with Glee a lot of the fan fiction is Kurt and Blaine that I like to read which is great but it's canon and so there isn't really a lot to go off of on like spins whereas if it's like my so if, if you're a Glee fan if you're not a Glee fan I apologize I'm about to get really gleeky um, but like Kurt Sebastian is my favorite Glee pairing it's Let's call it my Glee OTP, I guess. Um, and I really, really like it. And I like, I think the dynamic works really well. And so there's not a lot of it, though, because it's not canon and it's not like the famous fan fiction. It's not like, it's not the famous couple, so there's not a lot of fan fiction for it. Um, Harry Potter, my original ship that I liked to read was Harry Hermione, and now it's Hermione Draco because I did, didn't even mention the realm of possibility of Hermione Draco. And then I read it and I was like, oh my god, this makes so much sense. So I'm super into it. Then I discovered Pride and Prejudice Regency fanfiction, and I don't go off on different um, pairings, but it's like a continuation of what happens after, because the book itself is pretty short. It doesn't, it only takes place over, what, like a year? And so, this, I don't know, just the idea that, uh, yeah, I don't know, just the idea that, like, the story continues on, and, like, using all these, like, Regency era like books as resources to kind of see what would have happened actually with a woman as spunky as Elizabeth and a guy as like prim and proper but you know loving his wife so much as Mr. Darcy and kind of how that goes there so I've there's a few quite a few that I read that I'm just absolutely in love with and so yeah I've recently discovered Stargate fanfiction and Stargate I don't ship anything too crazy um SG-1 I ship uh Sam Jack just because I think they're so good together uh, Daniel, Janet, I do also like, so whenever they're, uh, whenever there's someone, something for them to be together, uh, <clears throat> I always enjoy that even though, uh, spoiler alert, she dies in the series, but it's, yeah. But Stargate Atlantis, I loved the idea of Ronan Dax, played by Jason Momoa, and Jennifer Keller, played by, uh, Jewel State, and I have been obsessed with this for like a week it's all I'm reading I'm not reading any of my other books I'm not reading any of my other fan fictions all I am reading is Ronan Jennifer fan fiction and it's insane and for not being a actual like canon pairing 
there's so much fan fiction. It makes me so happy because I'm like, I know they didn't get together in the show. Well, they kind of did and they kind of didn't and that whole other thing happened that I just don't even want to talk about because it doesn't make any sense to me. But it, they're, they're so perfect for each other and I love it. And so, yeah, I've just kind of gone off the deep end on this. And so that's been absor taking up all of my time lately and I ain't even mad. So I have run along for five minutes about fan fiction. Holy crap. So this is my secret slightly shameful confessions but not really shameful um i don't think it's shameful that i read fan fiction other people like to make me feel shameful about reading fan fiction i love fan fiction it's a gr again it's a great way to kind of go with the what ifs and the other great thing about it is if you can't find anything you like you can write it yourself because no one's expecting you to be a stellar like new york times pulitzer winning author so you just kind of go with it and yeah so i'm gonna stop because it's been almost six minutes now that I've talked about fan fiction and that's enough I think for today so thank you so much for watching tomorrow uh the grand tournament goes live and so we're gonna open the uh 50 pack that I bought um and we'll see look at all the new cards and we'll talk about the expansion and kind of what's changing and what's new and all that kind of stuff and apparently there may be a co-op mode that is coming in soon, which I am super excited about because I recently started playing a lot more Magic again and uh, we did the two-headed giant thing that they did on Spell Slingers, which is on the Geek and Sundry channel. Go check it out, Champlot is amazing. And yeah, it's I'm looking forward to something like that. So anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found that entertaining. But yeah, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Have a beautiful day.